Combine physics simulations with user interaction. For example, allow users to drag objects on the screen and simulate the response of the objects to the applied forces. This enables interactive animations where user actions affect the motion of objects. Start by creating a new project and importing physics.dart. Use with single ticker provider state mix in. Declare an animation control variable and three offset variables for position, start position, and end position. Create an init state method and initialize the animation controller. Lower bound specifies the minimum value for the animation, set as double dot negative infinity to indicate no specific lower bound. Upper bound defines the maximum value for the animation, set as double dot infinity to represent no specific upper bound. By configuring the animation controller this way, it allows for a flexible range of values without explicit boundaries, enabling dynamic animation control within a wide range. Dispose of the controller. Create a container in the body. Then, create an animated builder widget. Inside the builder function, use transform.translate widget to apply a translation or movement effect to the child widget. The translation is determined by the underscore position variable, which specifies the offset on the x and y axis. The child widget in this case is a container with a width and height of 100. It is decorated with a red circular shape using the box decoration class. As the underscore animation controller updates, the animated builder rebuilds the widget tree, resulting in a smooth animation of the child widget's position based on the changing underscore position values. values. Wrap the container with a gesture detector. Gesture detector is a widget that provides gesture recognition capabilities for different types of user interactions, such as taps, swipes, and pans. OnPanStart is a callback function triggered when a pan gesture starts, providing information like the starting position and velocity. On pan update is a callback function triggered when the user's finger moves during a pan gesture, providing details about the updated position and velocity. Create three functions for the pan gesture callbacks. Inside on pan start, stop the underscore animation controller by calling the stop method to halt any ongoing animation. Assign the initial touch position, access through details.global position, to the underscore start position variable, which serves as storage for the starting position of the pan gesture. Inside on pan update, use set state to update the state of the surrounding widget. This triggers a rebuild of the UI. Update the underscore position variable by adding the change in position, delta, obtained from details.delta. Use the plus equals operator to increment the underscore position variable by the delta value. By wrapping the update logic within set state, the UI rebuilds with the updated underscore position value, reflecting the changes made during the pan gesture. This example displays a red round container on the screen. Thank you for watching.